fashion designer, jailed for smuggling crocodile handbags into U.S. A celebrity handbag designer whose products have been used by Britney Spears and on Sex and the City has been jailed for smuggling crocodile handbags into the U.S. for fashion shows. Nancy Gonzalez, 71 years old, admitted recruiting couriers to carry as many as four products each on commercial flights from her native Colombia to the U.S. for New York Fashion Week, among other high-profile events. Gonzalez, who was arrested in 2022 in Cali and later extradited to the U.S., was sentenced to 18 months in a federal court in Miami on Monday for breaking U.S. wildlife laws. The handbags, made from the hides of caiman and pythons bred in captivity, were worth as much as $2 million, prosecutors said. But the designer's lawyers said each skin cost only around $140. Sometimes, she failed to obtain the proper import permits from the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, something backed by a widely ratified international treaty governing the trade in endangered and threatened species, the court heard. Holding back tears, Gonzalez told the court before sentencing that she deeply regretted not fully complying with U.S. laws. She said, from the bottom of my heart, I apologize to the United States of America. I never intended to offend a country to which I owe immense gratitude. Under pressure, I made poor decisions. Under Taj. Salma Hayek, Britney Spears, and Victoria Beckham are among celebrities who bought Gonzalez's carefully crafted handbags. Her work was also included in a 2008 exhibition at the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York. In court, her lawyers played a 2019 video of top buyers from Bergdorf Goodman, Sachs, and others praising the designer's creativity, productivity, and humanity. But prosecutor Thomas Watts Fitzgerald said the retailers must be regretting they were ever put up to that, and if they heard it was presented in court, they would cringe. They have their own brand to protect, he added. Mr. Watts Fitzgerald, who compared Gonzalez's behavior to that of drug traffickers, said her activities were all driven by the money. Her lawyers pleaded for leniency for the woman who, they said, created the very first luxury high-end fashion company from a third world country, which later competed with industry giants like Dior, Prada, and Gucci. They also argued that only 1% of the merchandise she imported into the U.S. lacked proper papers and were samples for New York Fashion Week and other events. Prosecutors had been seeking a stiffer sentence of 30 to 37 months. But the judge said he was taking into account the nearly 14 months she spent in a Colombian prison awaiting extradition. She was ordered to begin her sentence on the 6th of June, 